Hello? Anyone home? Oh, awesome. <sighs> oh, hey, Scott. Brian, what are you doing here? Surprise? As in surprise, here's a heart attack? I thought we had a date. I wasn't even home. And you're going through my stuff? Right, so, uh, I thought this was the waiting room before the date, and I was just looking for something to read. <laughs> Remember Highlights Magazine? It was always in the doctor's office when we were kids. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, we didn't have a date. I just got home early from a work trip. I shouldn't even be here. Oh, where were you? Why? <laughs> You're acting like you don't trust me. Well, the last time we had a date, a killer lunged at us with a knife and he used me as a shield, so the trust kind of went down a notch. I didn't use you as a shield. You were protecting me. It was romantic. Like a knight in medium-sized J.Crew. You thought I was protecting you? Mm hmm. But I'm a bottom. I wouldn't... So you want to have a date? No, I kind of just want to go to bed. We could do that. Say what? Yeah. I mean, I know we haven't been to many bases yet. No bases. None. I'm just standing there with my bat in my hand and... I mean, you get the metaphor. So why don't I sleep over? Tonight? Yeah, I would, uh, love to see you in this. That? Why don't you put that on and meet me in your bedroom? Everything's normal, nothing's weird. What? Just something I say when I'm feeling anxious. Ah. <clears throat> so was that chef pizza girl person here to kill me or you? Oh, for sure you. You're much more likely to be killed than me. Why would you say that? You just seem like someone people would want to kill. Now let's go sleep together. Are you gonna change too? Ah, uh, can I wear something of yours? Check my dresser upstairs. I got some hot. Oh. <sighs> hot. At first I was like, he wants me to wear this. But then I was like, oh yeah. Oh, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> I see you picked something comfortable. I was actually referring to this. I thought that was for your dog. You could be my dog. <laughs> no, not sexy. Sorry. <laughs> so let's go to bed. Yeah, bed. Okay. <sighs> so good night. Oh. Oh, you mean you want to sleep with me? It's way more intimate than sex. Yeah, it isn't. Any two people can do it. Only two people who really trust each other can sleep together. At 2 p.m.? Too early? Well, now that I'm lying here, I'm like, yeah, I could sleep, so you might be my dream man. <laughs> <laughs> we could just close the blinds. I'm scared of the dark. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everything's normal, nothing's weird. Everything's normal, nothing's weird. Can we come? I need space. Uh, okay. It actually is nice just to lie next to you like this. Yep. I don't usually let guys sleep over. Oh. I know you think I sleep with you. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> It's just, I know you think I have a thing with Jim, but I promise I don't. You know there's nothing going on there, right? There isn't? No, there's not. But you've seen his wiener, right? I mean, everybody has. How is it? It's good. It's impressive. Not that there's a competition. But if there was, would he come in first? Well, I haven't seen yours, But so. would he win? Yeah, probably. Sweet! I mean, lame. But our relationship isn't like that. It's not like you and me. Oh. <laughs> I'm not that great. I'm pretty sketch, actually. No, I trust you. Holy crap, have you been doing push-ups? And steroids? Check my pecs. You really should start wearing fitted clothes. Wanna make out? Yeah! Mm. 
Nice, Daddy. Scott. Daddy Scott. Jim, what the hell? What did I do? Get out of my bed. Why do you always say that to me? Because I always mean it. Where's Brian? He just went downstairs to get ready to kill you. Why would you say that? You seem like the kind of guy who would fall for a serial killer, but like you fell for him because he's a serial killer. Brian's not a killer, but he does agree someone's trying to kill me. Because it's him. He's playing mind games with you. Well, at least he's playing with some part of my body. Why can't you see that he's a bad guy? You've got blinders on. I do not. Oh, God. Now get out of here before he comes back. I'm gonna apparate downstairs and find out who he really is. Well, great, just go. Everything's normal, nothing's weird. Everything's normal, nothing's weird. Everything's normal, nothing's weird. It's nice just to lean next to each other like this, isn't it? Yep. You have to really trust someone to share a bed with them. I mean... Yep. I have to tell you something, Brian. Okay. The FBI said I shouldn't trust you. Well, actually, it was just this one FBI agent, but I also think she's literally nuts. Like, she was convinced I killed Jim's dad, but Jim's dad apparently isn't dead. And I know someone's trying to kill me, but she says they're trying to kill you. She's like the opposite of Jessica Fletcher. She can't solve the case. I don't know. Sounds to me like she's just overworked. No, believe me. If you met her, you'd be like, did you just come from an improv class? At the insane asylum? It's hard out there for a woman. I went to put groceries in my trunk once and found her in there. She'd accidentally locked herself in for three days. People in the parking lot thought I had a hostage. And unsurprisingly, did nothing. I'm sure it was just a whoopsies. You think... Hi, Callista. Nope, nope. Who? Oh, sorry. What was your name? Cat. Kristen Wig. I'm in bed with Kristen Wig. Yep. Are you ready to party? Well, you got the wig part right. <sighs> ah! <sighs> I thought you were a human. You're just a goat. Carry on. I'm gonna keep looking. Trust me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't hear him. Talk louder! Uh, the gold has shifted, the treasure has sunk, but I'm digging. Treasure? <gasps> He's a pirate! Sorry, I thought I was a human. It's just a coat. Carry on. Moroccan silk. It's nice. You know you can't just come into people's houses, right? You can if you're Callista Flockhart, FBI. You sanitize that thing every now and then, right? Also, I was invited. By who? Uh, I've been calling him Lestat. The smolderer, eight feet tall, skin that would turn to ash if the sun touched it. James? What's up? Were you in my bathroom? It's my vampire lair. The scene from the shower creates a nice fog. And that fog better be thick or I'm gonna speak to your manager. Hmm, that's sexy, baby girl. Get out of my bedroom, you guys. I'm having a sleepover with my non-sexual, non-boyfriend dream man. There's nobody in here. Delusions. It's the last stage before they go. He's somewhere. I just don't know where. Brian? I told you Brian isn't who he seems to be. Well, you made a whoopsies. People aren't trying to kill him, they're trying to kill me. Brian said so. Nope, they're trying to kill him. I don't know. Scott looks like he'd get killed. Why would you say that? You're boring. You're like the third victim in a horror movie that's literally just there to get killed, and then people forget it ever even happened. There's no proof someone wants to kill you. My agent left me a message. Someone told her they'd kill me if I kept writing my prison drama. Let me play it for you. Oh, I okay. literally could not care less. Or do you not want me to play it because you're the one that threatened her? Dude, if I didn't want you to write that script, I would have just gone to you and asked you not to. And then I would burn your house down. The hoses that the fire department use have insane water pressure. It's perfect for group showers. If you think James wants to kill you, why do you allow him to be here? I love that you think I allow him to be here. Although knowing where he is is better than him lurking in the shadows. I can see you. Ah, the old keep your friends close and your enemies closer bit. That's what I did to you when I thought you pushed Paul into the wood chipper. Someone was still killed. Why don't you think I pushed whoever it was? I only thought you were the killer because you were impersonating Paul. Now it's just some Joe Schmo who died and I'm like, eh. Or you're like, it's my job to find out who was murdered and I'll run the DNA to figure it out. Yes. Jeez, I'm trying to have a night off here. I think the layer's ready. Everything's normal, nothing's weird. Everything's normal, nothing's weird. 
Out of curiosity, who had access to your prison drama while you were writing it? Nobody. Well, I guess I'd work on it in my writer's group, but no one ever came to that. It was just me and Jamila. And she's your new agent, right? Oh, what? You think Jamila had something to do with this? A woman who claimed to pitch my script to Scorsese, but it was literally the janitor? She probably knew it was trash. <laughs> it's more likely her than him. When it comes to bad people, you have blinders on. I do not. He's a pirate. What? I heard Brian talking on the phone. He said pirate stuff. It all makes sense. What did he say? Uh, blah, blah, gold something, blah. I'm digging for treasure. So I was like, oh, pirate. Totes pirate. One time I heard you say, shiver me timbers, look at that booty. Didn't make you a pirate. Duh. It meant my timbers were shivering from all that booty. He's not a pirate. Who is he? Uh, I'll tell you another day. This is why I don't trust you. This is why I don't trust you. Why? I don't know, I just didn't have a comeback. Dude, check his wallet. See if there's an eye patch in there. Blimey me, Captain. Ahoy! Nosferatu's waiting for you. Can I just say, I'm really glad we're friends now. Yeah, it's really working out. No. I mean, yes. <gasps> I thought you were human. You're just a goat. Oh, get out of my freaking way. Just looking for something to read. Huh. I knew it. I can't sleep. My mind is going. I mean, just be honest with me. I can trust you, right? I wouldn't. Oh, calm down. It's like no one's ever crept into your bedroom with a giant knife to kill you in your sleep before. Why would you say that? You seem like you'd be easy to kill because no one would realize you were missing until... ever. Oh my god, is she dead? No, dude, it's vampire blood. Tastes like raspberry. Well, look! Someone's trying to kill me! I freaking told you! I mean, it was gonna be this or old age any day now. Uh, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trying to kill your boyfriend. Brian? And I freaking told you! Do I hear a whoopsies? No. Why do you want to kill Brian? <gasps> He's by. Where did your shirt go? I threw it at his face to blind him. Wait, who's by? Brian! Yeah! It's fake. It tastes like a raspberry. Ooh, I want to try. Nope. What do you mean Brian's by? I went through his wallet and found his ID, and it said it in big letters. Bye. He's Brian, the bisexual pirate! See, now that's the movie you should write. He had an ID that said he was bi? Why would he have that? Dude, no one believes you when you say you're bi. You have to show him the card to prove it. Well, so what if he is? Like, who isn't in this group? Seriously. I'm not bisexual. I'm pansexual. Right. Still need to look that up. Uh, excuse me. Hello? I'm actually looking for him, so if you could direct me. Well, he was right behind me. God, what was that for? Your outfit. Girl, not with your skin tone. You could have waited like two minutes for me. Every minute counts. Hmm. You always think you have so much time. Classic Gen Z. Why didn't you kill him? See, they want to kill me. Not you. God, narcissistic much? Scott can't read people. He has blinders on. I do not. He wasn't in here. Or maybe he saw you were dressed and was like, hmm, that's probably obviously an assassin. Maybe I shouldn't go in there. Oh, what? Like a walking glow stick blends right in? I'm sorry. Ladies, excuse me. We need to support one another. We're all doing our best here. This is your best? That's fair. Okay, wait, hold on. Time out. So you do not want to kill me, but you do want to kill Brian. You knew someone wanted to kill Brian. Here are those killers. You're FBI. I mean, do I really need to finish? Arrest them! Right! God, and I almost always have handcuffs on me when I'm in a bedroom. <gasps> the one time, right? <laughs> okay, I, I guess I'll go ahead and ask a question that nobody else is smart enough to ask. In your professional opinion, do I seem like a killer? Please. You're a smolderer. Yeah, smolderer. Maybe now I'll get a little bit of trust around here. 
All right, enough. You all keep telling me that I should trust you, but I shouldn't trust him, and don't trust this, and blah, 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 and you all think no one wants to kill me. I think everyone kind of wants to kill you right now. Well, I get to trust who I want to trust, and the person that I trust is Brian. <sighs> oh, hey folks. I was just looking for something to read, but all I could find was this, uh, terrible script about a stripper. I wrote that. Yikes. They all know your secret, Brian the Bisexual Pirate. That does sound like a good movie. You're not wrong. What are you talking about? He's not a pirate. Who is he? I feel like I have a lot of power in this situation. <laughs> He's FBI. Oh, FBI. I saw the F, but I thought that meant that when he Fs, he's bi. He's FBI. I got it now. You're FBI? Is this your prison drama? Yeah. Huh. Okay, maybe I can't trust him. What was this you were telling me about wasting time? I was distracted. Your outfit made me think I was doing Molly at a rave. Oh, sorry. Cliche female assassin from, like, every movie ever? Really? If you work together, you can achieve your goals. Are you helping them successfully murder Brian? Right. Not the time for feminism. Fear Vertes Original! I knew Brian was FBI. It was just illegal for me to tell you. I don't know if he's bi, though. But you're FBI and should be following them. <sighs> it's my day off. Also, we were kind of in the middle of a whole story. I'm doing a bad job at sucking her blood, so she wants to speak to the manager. manager. <laughs> Pick up the phone when we call. No, no. I have to do this. Damn it! I'll be back. Don't worry. You could trust us. Everything's weird, nothing's normal. Reverse that. No, I got it right. Yes, yes, I completely understand, ma'am, and I'm so sorry that you were so unsatisfied with his blood sucking. No one's ever complained about his sucking before. <laughs> Let me put you through to my manager. What? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, my God. This is the manager. Yes! I'm done. Nope. Nope. Good night. <laughs>